Birds are one of my top three favorite flying animals, right up there with birds and moths. But why are they so important? Nabil is with one bat expert to find out why. Bat, 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 double touch. So, PhD candidate Kristen Lear, what is it that you do? I study bats. Huh, you don't say. Today I'm meeting bat conservationist Kristen Lear at her bat cave, the, the University of Georgia. She's gonna shed some light on these mysterious creatures of the night. So, why do you think bats are misunderstood? They get this bad rap in the media, in movies, we see bats in scary scenes. But I think it's really unfair. We can see these are the same exact bat. This one has its teeth bared, which is often how you see bats in the media. You see them with their teeth out, but usually they're not like that. They're usually like that because they're afraid. And this one, same exact bat, but it looks cute. Look how cute it looks. Yeah, look at its big old ears. Yep. So there's really nothing to be afraid of when this is how they normally are. You guys, seriously, search the web for cute bats. They are actually beyond adorbs. We've been fed a lie. How do we rectify this situation? So what is something that people can do to protect bats? A really great way people can help bats is to build and put up a bat house. There's actually lots of great resources online for building your own or buying a bat house. So you can build a bat house like a birdhouse and bats will just come and live in it? Yeah, that's what they do. There's bats in every single state, so they can all use bat houses. Even in urban city areas, you can build and put up a bat house. Wow. So Kristen took me outside to show me her bat houses. So this is a bat house that you made? Yeah, so I helped some local Girl Scouts build and put up this bat house last year. That's awesome. Yep. So anyone can make a bat house in any state? Yes, anyone can make them. Um, there's a lot of great information online. So we actually have some here I can show you. Ooh. So this one right here is a model bat house. So it's cut out so you can see inside for a demo. And this one that you're holding is the finished product. So basically a bat house has um, this landing board where the bats will land and then they crawl up in there. And there's different rooms or chambers. So this one has two chambers. Up to 100 bats can fit per square foot, so about in that area. What? Yeah, so one of these bat houses can hold three to 400 bats. That's amazing. Yep. Do you think there's any bats in there right now? Well, let's check it out. Oh, they are oh. there. Oh, look at them. I can't believe they're there. You know, they actually do like to come back to the same places every so often, so these are probably the same bats I saw last week. This is so cool. I know, I never get tired of this. <gasps> Seriously, look at them chilling in there. It's the real bat world, yo. But if you want to see if a bat is really healthy, you have to get hands on. So as the sun sets, we set up our nets. Should we go ahead and raise the poles? You got it. We're good to go. And it wasn't long before we heard that sweet squeak of success. Yay, we caught a bat. So this is a big brown bat. They love to call, make lots of noise. So this is the wing. You can see the bone. So we're gonna measure him and weigh him and see what we can find out. And this, to me, looks like a pretty healthy, healthy bat. Yeah, he's so cute. They're not we're scary. Gonna, so we're gonna measure the length of the forearm. Okay. So it looks like we have a healthy girl, female, big brown bat. So now we're just gonna, we're gonna let her go down that way. Wow, okay. So we're ready? Three, two, one. Oh. Oh? You got it, buddy. Is he gonna check? There. Ooh. There she goes. Ooh. I yeah. feel like a hero. Being a bat biologist really makes makes you feel like a hero. Yes. Yeah. That's a success. success.